Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie here with Lily White and As You Wish at the Charmed Life event at Box 8 Studios. Here with our host, Taylor Spreitler of ABC Family's Melissa and Joey. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Okay, so I'm sure that everybody asks you this, but we need to know, what is it like working with Melissa Joan Hart and Joey Lawrence? It's great, you know, it's great working with two people who have been working since even younger than I started working, so they know what it's like to be a teenager and to be in school and then working at the same time, so they completely understand all of the dramatic meltdowns that I've had to them of handling all of the stress of it all, so it's great. They're great people. That's awesome. I'm so jealous. So have they given you any advice about acting or the entertainment industry in general? Um, you know, it's very different from when they were in the industry because they didn't have Twitter and <laughs> social media in general. So that was like one of the first things they told me because I think they kind of learned the hard way is like be very careful what you post on Twitter. So that's why I pretty much just post about my job and my dog, the love of my life. <laughs> yeah, that's really smart and I love your dog. So working with two 90s legends must be pretty awesome. And we want to know what is your favorite 90s TV show? Full House and Clarissa Explains It All and Blossom, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so speaking of the 90s, if you could bring back one 90s trend, what would it be? Chokers. So you are a woman of many talents. You have modeled, worked on a soap opera, and now you're doing a sitcom. So how are these jobs different for you? Oh, they're completely different. Being a model in New York, especially a kid model, is very different. The clothes don't fit you, so they have like those big like orange clamps that they like clamp your jeans in the back, and it's very crazy. I remember my dad coming to a photo shoot for the first time, and he was just like so like, what is going on here? And then. You know, working on a soap opera is kind of like doing a play. It's very fast paced, you don't get a lot of rehearsal. I always say it's like the best boot camp for actors ever, because once you do a soap opera, you can handle anything. So going to that, like going from that to Melissa and Joey, where we have this amazing schedule, there's only four people in our cast, I was like, wait, what is this? Like I have time to be in my dressing room? Like this is a whole new world to me. So it's very cool to be able to do all different things. That's crazy. Those all seem like very different jobs. From crying and dramatic to laughing with your with Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah. That's awesome. From being pregnant to yeah, That's being right. a normal teenager. Yeah, That's very right. happy that I don't have to wear a belly anymore. Yes. Oh my gosh, that must have been so intense. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have a favorite episode of Melissa and Joey so far? I do. My favorite episode is the episode where Melissa snuck me into the Kings of Leon concert because not only was it fun to film but they actually had planned that was the day that I graduated high school and Melissa and the rest of our crew and everyone they planned a graduation for me so they had me do like a fake outtake uh, where I was like in a dumpster and then they said cut and when I crawled out of the dumpster I had a podium I had a like congratulations I had a cake a cap and gown I had everything, and Melissa Joan Hart gave my commencement speech, so, and a week later, I went to my best friend back in Mississippi, I went to his graduation, and I was sitting there, I was like, God, this is so boring, <laughs> like, wow, what an experience, that's definitely different than most high school students, so. <laughs> okay, so one more question, then we'll let you get back to your party. If you were not an actress and a superstar, what would you want to do? I would want to be a ventriloquist. Where, wow. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird, but I had this neighbor growing up and he was amazing at ventriloquism and I still have all of these puppets and I still try to do it all the time. I only got to be able to say like the ABCs. I can't do it anymore, but I used to be able to do it without my mouth moving at all. How did I never know this? That's crazy. <laughs> and a little creepy. Dolls, puppets. I know, it is a little creepy, but I'm, I'm, I'm still young enough to where it's not creepy. If I was like 60 years old, it'd be a little creepier. That's true. All right, well, thank you so much for talking with us and we'll let you go have fun, okay? Thank you.